just last week, General Motors announced that they were discontinuing the Chevy Bolt in both the EV and the EUV. I'm going to get into some thoughts on that, but I'm not worried about it. But I am concerned about whether or not General Motors is going to be able to match the efficiency of this vehicle or come anywhere close to it. So it's time for a spring weather range test. So first, just to address the Bolt being discontinued, uh, cars get discontinued all the time. Uh, I love this car and that's not going to change. I'm going to keep this car <laughs> for, for a while. Um, but you know, when a manufacturer discontinues a car, they have to keep parts uh, available for it for 10 years. So I'm good. I, I, I won't have the car that long I'm sure it's going to hit the resale value uh, somewhere down the road but the the Bolt is a great car and I understand why they had to discontinue it their General Motors is shifting everything into their Ultium platform for electric vehicles and they're retooling the Orion plant where the Bolt is built to be able to build the new EV Silverado uh, pickup trucks and those are those could be more popular or well they should be more popular we'll see the thing about the bolt is it's a really inexpensive electric vehicle and it gets crazy good efficiency there there aren't very many electric cars out there that uh, are as efficient in their electricity use as as the bolt i think the uh, only ones out there that are better are the tesla model 3 <laughs> uh, standard range possibly the Model Y, but I know that Teslas have crazy good efficiency also. I'll just say that. But nothing else out there can kind of match this, uh, especially for the size of vehicle it is. So I'm not worried about the Bolt being discontinued. Uh, I am sad about it, but Gen GM is going to come out with the Equinox EV in a few months, and it's going to be a little bit more for the base model Equinox when it eventually comes out because they're going to launch the top trim levels first, but um, is it going to be as efficient as this car? It, for me, it's not just a matter of not using gasoline. It's a matter of using as little energy as I can. Um, I had plans of uh, owning a F-150 Lightning, but... Uh, once I got this car, I liked this car enough, and I got spoiled by the efficiency numbers that it gets. A few months ago, in the winter, I decided to show how cold weather affects range and how climate control affects range. And I did another video a few weeks later when the temperature got below freezing. And so this video is to show you when the outside temperature and the weather is right in an electric vehicle's wheelhouse. And, you know, since there's not going to be that much need for new information about bolts. Um, I'm going to look at this through the lens of other electric vehicles and show you that spring weather is kind of right in an EV's wheelhouse, at least spring weather in the state of Texas. So uh, it's been a few months, and if you haven't seen the, that cold weather range test, uh, I'll just refresh. I'm doing this on my morning commute. I'm not a scientist. Uh, I have this channel as a hobby and uh, so I make this the I'm making this video on my morning commute to work at my job my commute starts off with a combination of county roads uh, then a decent sized chunk of what in Texas is called a farm to market road or a farm road and that ends with six miles of interstate and I'm going to check in with you and let you know my efficiency numbers at the end of each section so let's see how the bolt does. So a couple of things, it is 65 degrees when I left my house, currently it's 67. I just finished the county road section of my commute at 5.3 miles and 5.1 uh, 
miles per kilowatt hour as my efficiency. Now, of course, that was with a little bit of reach in uh, at, at a stop sign and not, not going so uh, super fast. I do not have any kind of climate control on. I have no need to uh, defrost the windows and it's not the least bit cold. In fact, I'm, I'm kind of a little warm. I might turn the AC on here in a, in a little bit. Uh, I will check back in with you at the end of the farm road section. reached the end of the farm road section of my commute. Uh, we've got an average efficiency of 5.3 miles per kilowatt hour after 20.3 miles. And in case you're comparing this to my cold weather range videos, yes, that's a tenth of a mile less than what it was then. I found a couple of roads that saved me a tenth of a mile, and I know I should have taken the old route this morning, but it's a tenth of a mile. Uh, it, so, sorry, it's still going to be fairly, fairly close. Used 3.9 kilowatt hours so far. Temperatures bouncing between 66 and 67 degrees and all temperatures are Fahrenheit. I'm almost to the end of my commute. I'll check back in with you at the end of the interstate. I've finished the interstate section of my commute at 26.3 miles. Average efficiency is at 5.1 miles per kilowatt hour. I've used 5.2 kilowatt hours total on my commute today. It is still 66 degrees. Uh, the interstate is a 70 mile per hour speed limit and I had the cruise control set at 70 for that uh, section. Um, the efficiency did go down as low as 4.7. Uh, at the beginning of the commute, when I first got onto the farm roads, it went down as low as 4.5, but that was because I was within five or six miles of having reset the trip computer. And so when you're early in in the trip computer, uh, small fluctuations make a big difference in the average. 26 miles in, it's not that not that big of a deal. If we were going on a much longer road trip and I uh, was maintaining this for the next 100 miles or so, it, it'd take quite a bit to make that fluctuate. So I'm at work in my parking spot. It was 26.9 miles. And again, that's it's one tenth less than my earlier ones because of slightly different route, just a little bit. Uh, 5.1 miles per kilowatt hour was my average efficiency. I used 5.3 kilowatt hours over my total commute. My electric company charges 14 cents uh, per kilowatt hour. So at 5.3 times 14, whoops, 5.3 times 14 is 74 cents of electricity that it cost me to go this 26.9 miles. If I were to take the 65 kilowatt hours of usable power in this battery pack, if it was charged fully to 100%, and if I was able to maintain this efficiency uh, the entire time, the range would be 331.5 miles in this kind of condition. I was not using any climate control. The temperature ranged from 65 degrees to 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so no climate control, no precipitation, no, uh, no substantial headwinds or anything like that. So this is kind of the Bolts wheelhouse, and I would have to say by extension, the, the wheelhouse climate for any other electric vehicle out there. I'm going to do one more of these efficiency uh, tests uh, in a few months uh, over the summer so that you guys can see what uh, the air conditioning does to uh, to the bolts efficiency. Uh, there have been comments that, well, what if you run in the radio at full blast and that uses hardly anything? Uh, that That's not that big of a deal. But air conditioning does use less power than heat and not using anything, I've got really good efficiency. 
I hope that General Motors makes that kind of efficiency a priority as they're moving forward with the Equinox, which is what's going to basically take the place of this Bolt when the Equinox EV comes out. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll have some more content soon. Leave a comment about what kind of videos you'd like to, to see me upload uh, onto the channel, and I'll see what I can do.